Right, so if you take about 36 inches, so that's 12, 24, 36, cut it. On one end, you need to um, make a point. Just diagonally cut it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then seal that off. Seal the other end off. You may want to cut that at the end. You may not. You take your needle. So these are the long ones that we sell. Uh, I know we haven't got many of them left. And uh, they do sell pretty well. But it's the easiest flower. It's got to be the easiest flower. So go an inch in from this bottom point. So you're going in and put your needle into the ribbon. And then you're going... Because the needles come out the back of the ribbon, you're going to bring the needle over to the front and then do that for about an inch. So it's an inch each time, which is, if you, if you look at and measure your finger, from the first crease to the tip is about an inch. So as long as you're doing an inch, go over. It's come, out, it's come from the back. Bring the needle to the front. Don't do it right near the edge because you have to pull all of this through this. Um, and you'll see what I mean. Okay. And sew the whole ribbon. Just keep doing that. So over the ribbon in the front. Over the ribbon in the front. And do that to the end. Somebody said they didn't quite understand what I'd done. Okay, so the needle, obviously, when it goes in through the ribbon, comes out the back. That's the back, that's the front. You bring the needle over the um, top of it and poke it back through the front. So what you're getting is this. Like that. Again, just keep going until you finish the ribbon. So cut the ribbon at 36, which is a yard. 39 inches is a metre. Okay, go to the end. You can do it right to the end. And then what you're going to do is you push the needle down and then with the point of this end where you started, pop that through the needle eye. Now don't do it too much. If you do it too much like that, it'll be hard to pull it through the rest of this. If you just ease it through, and what you're going to do is twist. So just... Right, see, I've put the needle at the ribbon through and I've just given it a little twist. And when you twist it, with the rest of this, see what I've done? If you pull it down, it's flat and it'll go like that. But pull it back, push it up, and you start to get a curl of the flower. Right? And just keep pushing it up. Twist with this hand, or whichever hand you've got the needle in, twist, and the fabric is what you pull. So you're easing it up, the needle. So I'm pulling it up the needle and wrapping it around. Don't worry about this, that'll all come right in a minute. Okay. Keep pulling it up and turning the needle at the same time. See how you're getting like a rose? And just do that to the very end. Now, you can, right now, blob of glue on the corner of the bottom bit and do that. And that seals it off. So that's fine. So we've got that. Now, I could continue twisting it and it would end up like flat like that. But you don't want that. You need push the needle up, push it round. Just play around with it until you've got what you want and then you have to pull it through but you can push that needle back up see and if you've not I've only got a little bit like that on the end pull it through like that and pull that tight and you end up with that rose 
isn't that gorgeous you can twist and pull it and undo it a little bit if you want it a bit more released right so i've got all this together and i'm now just going to edge it all like that I can play around with that and pull that through. Right, I've done it. So I'll pull that tight. Ah, I see a crinkled flower. That is a crinkled flower. So what I need to do now is to sort that out, cut it. We seal that. Dob of glue on the end just to pin that in underneath. And I can use as is, or again, use one of these. Bit of glue on. And again, pop that in the centre. And there you go. So that was doing it afterwards and that was doing it before. So you can get your little crinkle bit out. Now, I've got my pen here. Let me use which one I want to. Let's do this one. Now, oh, maybe that's the wrong pen. Because it's gone dark on the edge. What I'm going to do is highlight the flower on the very edge. You know what will be easier? To do it like that. Let me just see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to do it again that way. Oh, see. Now I could sit and work on that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> Do you remember those uh, carnations? Uh, well, the older ones will probably remember it. The younger ones won't have even seen one that used to be streaked with colour. Look at that. That is nice. Now, I would do that. Uh, now I've seen that. Let me just say, I would do that first. So, if, like, say, take my ribbon and my mat, um, and let me just do it with this. And I would do that first with the ribbon, I think. Yeah, definitely. Do it first. And then you'll end up with something like that. Oh, that's nice. That's really pretty. Isn't it? See, there's a lot you can do if you just use your imagination. Right, we're going to need a nice long length of ribbon. Now, I would do a metre at least. I'm going to use a long thread. 
and I need a pretty oh there it is couldn't even find it then yeah we're going to need a long thread and then what I'm going to do is let me just pop that one back I'm going to need some pins as well so I'm going to do this as one complete so let me just put that there so I now have my pins here now what you're going to do is first of all start off by folding that down I'm using an inch and a half wide you fold that down and then you fold that in and then pin that so we're just going to pin it like that okay then what you do is you fold that back um, a good inch and then we fold that down so see what I've done there and fold it back on itself and then you fold that down put your thumb there about an inch bring that over when you get to this edge fold it back over again and then take the right hand side corner to that corner and pin it forwards backwards corner to corner and you can use your finger and thumb underneath to grip it and that so you don't lose it okay about an inch bring it forward take it back corner to corner I mean it doesn't have to meet exactly but uh, as long as you're getting this fold in it bring forward go back bring forward go back corner to corner forward we can spread that out actually that's it see it just works let's just move that down a little bit and then move that forward that's it and then we move that and you've got an exact amount so I did a meter and a half but it depends what you want in your flower so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and a half say um folds okay so we've got that now what you need to do is take your needle and thread and I'm using the medium sized needle this is going to be a lot on the needle and what you do is you what I do is put the you want the knot inside this so it's, it's hidden out the way then it's you don't see it and you do a tacking stitch I generally do a couple of them just to keep them tight then you're going to sew along the bottom edge so I can take that out now uh, don't do two big stitches take them out as you go along
Okay, so you've got something like that. Now what you need to do is to pull, um, and you only want to slightly gather, see? Just slightly gather, not too much. And then what I'm going to do is to tie this off first. This is the rolled ribbon one. It's rolled fabric, sorry. And you stitch it. You can do it on your sewing machine or hand stitch it. Gather it up. But it's folded in half. So you fold it. You cut a two-inch strip, fold it in half. And then you sew it. And then you sew the whole thing together and keep it flat and wrap it round and round as you go and that ends up with that particular one then this one I, um, I showed you the other day it's just gathering um, about a meter and a half of, uh, of ribbon and I've used the 1.5 inch wide one and the only thing I think I'm gonna do is just pop in because I absolutely love them with these pearls these centers I'm on about, they look fabulous with the pearls. So it's just to stick in a pearl like that. See, they look so much nicer. 